war. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. War never changes. Never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. That's my handsome guy. Not bad. Not bad. So handsome. Looking good, if I do say so myself.
My turn, big guy. Let me just slide in here. Okay, come on. You have great lips, you know that? Just another minute, I swear. Hey, hon. I'll just be a minute. Mm, just getting ready. Huh? I'm hurrying up. Don't worry. Good old USA. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. War never changes. <laughs> Got that right. No need to get dressed twice. One day, he's gonna learn how to drive. Hey, 
Hun. Nervous? Don't be. Everyone's gonna love this speech. Abraxo, for all your cleaning needs. Yeah, let Codsworth take care of it. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth is really good with Sean. It's a little early to be drinking. Hun. Can't believe it's almost Halloween. Oh, I need to finish making Sean's costume. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Saddle up Salisbury steak, graded A plus. Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes to you every day. <sighs> Can you get the door? Whenever I answer, he just asks for you over and over. Come on, just answer the door and he'll go away. Hey, hon? Mm, I've tried waiting him out before. Doesn't work. Might as well just answer the door. You know he's not going to give up. Good morning. vault calling. vault -Tec? Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, vault is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir... This country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my length. Now, I'm here. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future under... 
Now I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Hun. Wow, look at you. How'd a girl like me ever get so lucky, huh? Refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection. You seem to be so now for a brief look at the local weather. You heard Codsworth. Go on. Sir, if I may, Sean requires your personal attention. A boy needs his father, after all. Hey, Codsworth. I'll be sweeping up the floors later. Hey, hon. I'll be there in a minute. Go ahead. Insta mash, fancy lad snack cakes, Blamco mac and cheese. Expires in never. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. And do what exactly? Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Hun. What's wrong with Codsworth? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds Codsworth. Like explosions. Sir, the news. We're, uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with saying? our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we no. do have, we do have coming in. That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's going on? Oh my god. We, we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. To get in, we're on the list. They have to. Infant, the adult male, program. adult female. Die. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, ma'am. And God help us all. Hey, hun. Come on, let's get to the vault. You two, follow me. Come on. What's gonna happen to all those people outside we're doing the gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Um, hey there. This way. 
Step on the platform in the center. This way. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on! Can't this thing move faster? Oh god. 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 